Your girl been shopping, okay? Like it's giving tinted out Lambo, like you can't even see who's inside of here kind of vibes. Getting these bath tabs was a no brainer. It screams, who is she? I've not seen her before. What is she doing here? Girl, let's talk purchases as of late because your girl's been doing some shopping, okay? Now, granted, I've done my best to write down all the different items I wanted to show you, but I know that there's some stuff that is missing because your girl's been shopping, okay? But let's do part one of this two-part series of my collective haul and let's talk about it. The first item that I love that I got just a few months ago is this Jacquemus bag. It's my first Jacquemus bag and I love this bag. It's cute. It's like a matte, lightly velvety type of brown purse. I first discovered this from Andrew Renee because she got it in the smaller version and when I looked it up I was like I want my bag to be a little bit bigger. I like to carry a lot of stuff. To be honest I usually use a bigger bag but the smaller bags do come in handy because sometimes you just want a little cute and little something you know what I'm saying to put on and this one is so stinking adorable. The actual name is Jacquemus La Papier. La Papier Bambino honey. I don't know. That's what it says online. You feel me? And I like this bag. It is so cute. In fact my sister loved it so so much that I ended up getting her one for Christmas too because she annoying and stuff but this bag is really really cute i see myself wearing this in the summertime or even in the winter time you know what i'm saying depending it is the only brown bag that i have in that solid color that one uniform color and i love the size of it because it can fit a lot more than the smaller version and just know that all the things that i mentioned are going to be linked below the next item is this givenchy hat this beanie hat right i purchased this because i was supposed to be going on a very snowy vacation cold frigid freezing vacation and i wanted to wear this and it never happened How However, it is still a good cute hat to have. Just imagine hair down, hat on, makeup, glam, like cuteness. I still wanna go to a place like a Denver to just be in the snow and just really be there for the vibes. I don't like the snow. Although I'm from Rhode Island, I don't like the cold. I actually hate the cold, but I got this because not only is it a cute staple to have, it's fly like hello right it's fly it's sexy and it just will elevate the look you feel me if i am in cold weather whether it be here in houston or somewhere else on vacation i was just like i need to get it and when i got it it was on sale so you know it was a little no-brainer you feel what i'm saying it's just a little a, a nice designer hat to add to my collection now this chanel gift set i wrapped up on over the holiday season to get as gifts for my family and i got one for myself because hello it was wicked cute and i mainly love the hand lotion the hand cream i have wanted this for so long i thought it was just the cutest thing to have in your purse. So I have this one. It is lightly almost unscented. And then I've also purchased the same hand cream. It looks the same, but it's matte and it's the number five scented hand cream. Really cute, aesthetic -y. Hello. Like we all love a good aesthetic. And the number five one smells really, really good. This one doesn't have a scent to it. If it does, it's really, really faint. And it just looks cute in the purse. You feel what I'm saying? I like how it's an oval. Now it is a little bit of a challenge, the cream it is, to get out. You, you do need to give it a good squeeze. You know what I'm saying? The lip balm is cute to use as well again an aesthetic why not and then the zip bag is cute to throw in your purse in your duffel in your tote to put stuff inside of because it's a chanel what like woven texture type of zip up which i think is just adorable so i go up for myself and i gave it out as gifts to my loved ones because it's a cute gift if you snagged one over the holiday season let me know now these zara blazers are an absolute staple i have it in black i have it in white and i cannot lie to you i just purchased a woven texture Zara blazer in I believe it's an off-white color because a black and a white blazer with gold detail this is very Balmain inspired is just so so cute it can go with almost everything so as I've been going through my closet and revamping taking old things out and I've lost weight ever since my surgery I'll link that playlist below in case you're curious to know what I'm talking about but I've had to revamp my wardrobe and the black and the white blazers are both absolute staples just love them I got them in XL a year ago I could not fit the XL my arm area was just too big and now I can fit the XL very comfortably there's a little bit of space which is comfortable you know I still want it to flow on me not be all tight on the arms so I love these blazers and again I love the the gold detailing because it's giving you bomb on but not the price you feel what I'm saying now these Fendi sunglasses honey are just all the rave I love how they're all gold I normally wear the key Australia sunglasses but as of late I have been upgrading my sunglass stash and the Fendi ones are adorable I got these from North Rack, they were on sale, they were a steal. I love how it's the mirrored frame.
frame. And again, it's all gold. It screams luxe. It screams, who is she? I've not seen her before. What is she doing here? You know, it just screams just, ah, I just love it, okay? I love these sunglasses so, so much. If I can find a link, I will link it below along with everything else in the description box. I stinking love it, especially the detail on the side. Come on, just, they're they're loud, they're pronounced, and they just, they do what they need to do. Because on my skin, I love gold. I don't wear silver. I love gold. It just looks delicious. I love it. So I got two Chanel sunglasses, okay? They are a little bit different, so there's a difference to them, all right? I first begin with the black Chanel sunglasses because wicked cute, why not? Some black stunner shades, like it's giving tinted out Lambo, like you can't even see who's inside of here kind of vibes, real, real cute. The Chanel case too is just so sick and cute, but these glasses I think are just bad. These Chanel sunglasses are screaming exclusive, okay? It is giving exclusive. You can't talk to me, but you know I can, but I'm just I'm, I'm just trying to explain, you know? It's giving, who is she? She looks important, you know? So then when I saw the brown tortoise, version of it. It's called Dark Havana. I loved this, especially the pearl detail on the side. Like what? Hi. Wow. Love it. Right? So now I have two Chanel sunglasses in my stash and I love these. I really, really do. I love an oversized look. I have an oval shaped face, so I don't like round sunglasses. I don't like round things on my face. Even when it comes to earrings, I more so will go straight to give a good juxtaposition between the shape of my face. So sunglasses that are one, oversized, two, rectangle work really, really well. Or at least for me, I love how they look on me. Oh, and actually the Fendi ones are more like aviators. So like that'll do too. But the circles, no, I don't need more circles on the face. You know what I'm saying? I love these. Let me know if you have tried them on. If you have either of these sunglasses, I'd love to know. Of course you have a Chanel card holder because oh, why not? Small other goods go such a long way. Even if you're wearing a purse that is not designer, pull it out when you want to pay for something. It just feels luxe. A lot of this is just the feeling, right? You can get a good pair of sunglasses from Target. You feel what I'm saying? and Amazon or whatever, but you know, I love a luxury item and I wanted to grab this Chanel card holder because why not? I can't lie to you. I mainly use my LV one because it has more space in it. I got mad stuff in my card holder. I don't carry cash really. This, this, I got a lot of cards. I don't know. I don't know what's up in there. You feel me? So the Chanel one I reserve for, you know, a quick night out where I'm not going to take all of my cards that are in my daily stash, but just a few so that the card holder is not so jam packed. You know what I'm saying? But it's a cute small leather good that I think is a great option for a gift or at least for you to put on your wish list for your Self, you know, a gift that someone should get for you. You know, we deserve. Okay. I do agree. Mm -hmm. In line with Chanel, I recently purchased the bath tabs. It's in the scent Chance. Is it Chance? Yeah, Chanel Chance. And let me tell you these, just when you open up the container, the scent that emanates from the container is just mind blowing. I love the scent Chanel Chance. I actually have the fragrance. I believe I have the EDP. I love it so, so much. It smells so feminine and sexy and light and just, like champagne-esque. Getting these bath tabs was a no-brainer. Now, I have to be honest, I don't bathe as much as I would like to, so I actually have not used this yet, but do I plan on using it? Absolutely, it smells mad good. And thankfully, I don't get irritation from fragrances in things, so thank God I don't have to worry about that because obviously you're in the bath, sitting, like stuff, but the scent is amazing. Like, I can just tell that's gonna make the bathroom smell so good. If you've tried these, let me know. Ooh, and Versace, honey. So I started off with the black robe, okay? And I got it in XL. And now that I've lost weight, I'm like, is this too big? But here we are, you know, we can't return it. And I just love it. You know, again, it's giving lux, it's giving money, it's giving exclusivity, you feel what I'm saying? And it is oversized, it does feel nice. It's got that towel material, I won't lie to you, it does have a lint and I don't exactly know how to wash the Versace robe because it does say don't dry clean, unless I misread that. So I'm like, okay, how do you wash this? Cause I don't want to ruin this $500 robe, you feel what I'm saying? So I have not washed it yet, granted. It's not a robe that I wear every day either, like hello but it does have lint. Like when I've done my makeup, I look at the counter, it's just got lint everywhere, black lint. So that is a little irritating. I do have the white one of it, also very sexy. You know, I wear that on occasion as well. It's giving luxe vibes. It's giving fresh, just out the shower, still the same towel material. Of course it has the monogram all over it. It just screams money. I got the white one on sale. So I was like, hold on a second, I'm annoyed. Listen, I love me a good sale when it comes to luxe items and I got the white 
white one for like three something and I paid five something, almost $600 for the black one. I was like, mm, that's a little annoying, you know? But I love me, like you'll see the links below. Some of the sites will be Essence or Setire or Nordstrom Rack. I mean, listen, don't pay full price if you don't have to. You feel what I'm saying? So when I see some of this stuff on sale, I'm like, let's get this now because it's on sale for, you know, 20%, 30% or more off. Why not? You know? Now, along with Versace, I have these bralettes that I actually got from the outlet. So again, did not pay full price. I will link them below for you. I have several of them. I have white, black. Do I have brown? I can't remember. And these are so sexy. So if you saw my get ready with me on IG, which if you're not following me there, make sure you already are. Then you would have seen me do this look where I had a white Zara blazer, a white and black Versace bralette, blue jeans, and then some gold strapped heels. And then I did a Fenty shopper toe is it what it's called, the shopper? Listen, it was a hole in my hair was pulled back. Yo, it was a vibe. It was a vibe, y'all loved the video. It is one of my favorite outfits already from 2023. I loved it. And that bralette is so cute. Granted, it, it does give a deep V. So I did tape it to my skin because I did not need that to be moving. You know, I needed that to stay put. Do you hear me? It is so sexy. And yes, I am that person where if I love something, usually depending on what it is, I'll get it in a few colors because like versatility. Yeah, it's a bralette. So of course wear that underneath your clothing. And obviously since I've had my procedure, I'm not wearing underwire bras anymore, but I wore it as a top and it was a vibe and I loved it. Now Le Labo, I first got a Le Labo fragrance last year and it was another 13, which I love. Then I went, to Saks with my girlfriend. She got us a sample set, discovery set, which allowed me to, well, we smelled them there too, but it allowed me to take home several of the fragrances. And I loved it so much that I then purchased Patchouli 24. Yes, that smells so good. Patchouli is, I would say, can be considered a polarizing scent because it is very strong, might be considered masculine, but I love scents like that. I love it so much. And that fragrance makes me so, so happy. So does another third. Patchouli though is one of the more recent ones. I'll link all of them below. So stinking good, strong, long lasting. Lux, hello. I mean, just mind blowing. Just so good, okay? So that is part one of this collective haul. I will see you in part two, which I'll link here for you to watch if you wanna watch the next one. And like I said, all links are below. If you have any of these or have any Lux items on your wish list, let me know because I may wanna grab it for myself. <laughs> I mean, just being honest, you know? All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.